You know, one of the most often asked questions I get surrounds sounders. Not only how I use them, but how I mount them in my boat. And I have to tell you, after years of experimentation, trial and error, and not much success, I finally have a system now that allows me to use a sounder across a wide range of watercraft. If this is something that interests you, stick around and I'll show you my setup. A sounder is a critical component to my on the water success. Frankly, I never leave the beach without them. To be honest, I've had just as many sounders as I had boats, and each time I tried to install them, I went through different DIY options, different rigging methods, different attachment, and I was never happy with them. They worked, but not like I'd hoped. Too much clutter, too much junk, just wasn't happy. But the folks at fishfindermounts.com were going through the same anguish. And over 20 years ago, they developed a portable system for a float tube. They've now taken that basic system and expanded it so it's adaptable to a wide range of watercraft. When I first saw what they had set up, I knew my problems had been answered. Join me, I'll show you what I'm so excited about. So what the folks at Fish Finder Mounts did is come up with a a portable option that features a battery box that holds either a 5 amp hour, 10 amp hour, or 20 amp hour battery depending on the size of the sounder you're trying to power, and multiple attachment systems. You could have a clamp-on system for a gunnel of a boat, whether you've got your own boat or maybe you're visiting a lodge, you could take your sounder along with you and clamp it onto any boat. They also have a strap-on system that works well on pontoon boats and float tubes. So what size battery box do you need? Well, there's three options, 5 amp hour, 10 amp hour, and 20 amp hour. The 5 amp hour is great for smaller sized sounders with little power demands, three to five inch screens, simple operating systems. The 10 amp hour is for larger, slightly larger, maybe up to seven inch sounders, a little more complexity to them. And then if you've got a big powerful unit, seven inch screen or larger, that's got GPS, down imaging, side imaging, all those kind of features, then a 20 amp hour is probably best for those power demands. So what do you get? Well, if we use this 10 amp hour unit as an example, you've got the box which contains the 10 amp hour battery, the wires stick out and there's a quick connection port here that allows you to quickly charge it without removing the battery from the box. It comes with a movable deck plate or a, a, a mounting plate for your sounder head. You just turn the knob and you can adjust the position wherever you want so you can see your sounder easily. The mounting plate comes with multiple holes that allow you to attach a variety of different sounder brands to it. The 20 amp power station is the premier power unit and this allows you to run big complicated sounders with lots of features on them that really draw power. You can get a day's use easily out of this unit. It also features a portable power station built right into it as well. We've got two USB ports where you could power a smartphone or any other device that needs USB power. You've got a lighter port, so if you've got anything that takes like a cigarette lighter for an automobile uh, charging uh, system in there as well, it's got the on-off switch it's also got, this is the power port, it runs independently from the switch system. This is where you plug in your power cable for your sounder, and this is also where you plug in the cable for the trickle charger you're going to use to charge this unit up at the end of the day, end of a trip, whenever you want to charge it. One of the features I really like are the mounting plates that allow you to permanently attach the plate to your boat. This is the 10 amp hour one. Multiple uh, hole patterns, just use some sheet metal screws, cinch it down in there. It's just got a little uh, pull button here that you pull to release the sounder. The, uh, this is the one for my 20 amp hour unit. I just simply pull on it, lift it up. I'm ready to go. Little carrying handle. That goes in my vehicle, in my house to charge it up. It's great. It also allows me to put this unit from this boat to another boat. So to put it back in, it's got two little um, indentations here that clip into the, the base plate. So I just slide that in. Pull out the pin, push it down, locks back in, your sounder is permanently mounted uh, for whenever you're on the water. And of course, you can pick it up, remove it for charging, or to put into another boat. Charging these units is simple. Firstly, you could simply undo the screws on the box, lift the head off of it, and the gel cell battery, the 5 amp hour gel cell battery in this instance, would be revealed. You just plug it into your charger and away you go. For me, I like to keep things simple, so I picked up one of their 1.5 amp trickle chargers. It features a quick connect port that I simply plug into the battery box and I'm charging away. I plug this into the battery box, I plug the charger into the wall, 
and I'm charging away. I plug and go. It also comes with um, uh, alligator clips as well if you uh, want to remove the battery for some reason out of the box and eyelets as well. You can connect right to the terminal. Frankly, I use the quick connect plug all the time. Perhaps their coolest product is their magnetic transducer mounts. These are excellent because frankly I'm not a big fan of drilling holes below the water line and also with our informal boat launches common to many small trout lakes when you drag your boat up at the end of the day or to take a break there's a risk you're going to drag your sounder through all the gravel at the boat launch and that's not very good it's arguably the most expensive part of a sounder at least for some of them so you want to be able to protect it and these magnetic um, transducer mounts are great they're six powerful sorry eight powerful earth magnets literally this mounts on the i'll put it this way for you this mounts onto the uh, outside of the transom and that connects on the inside and it's powerful it does not move if you've got an outboard this will not kick up okay it's powerful it the magnets are powerful it holds and the other beauty of this system is when you're coming into the launch and you don't want to risk damage to your transducer you can just grab both sides to support it and slide it up the transom out of harm's way. Same way I do when I'm traveling home on the drive home with my trailer boats. I just pull this up out of harm's way. I'm not going to have a rock or something kick up off of a gravel road and damage my transducer. This is an unbelievably good system. Even if you don't use any of the other systems at fishfindermounts.com, this magnetic transducer mount is a real winner. Be really careful though of this connection. Because if you get your fingers stuck in there, I can assure you, it hurts a lot. So there you have it. That's my sounder system. It's slick, it's portable, it works very well. You've got the choices of the three battery boxes, depending on your sounder needs, the 5 amp hour, 10 amp hour, 20 amp hour power station. You've got quick release plates to mount and remove them, transfer them from different boats. You've got strap systems for float tubes and pontoon boats, clamp systems for gunnels. You've got that magnetic transducer mount. That is a really cool system that works incredibly well, even if you use another attachment unit for your sounder. I hope you've enjoyed this video, learned a little bit more about these units and how I like to set up my boat. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about these units, check out the uh, fishfindermount.com website. There'll be links uh, to that uh, system in my description below. If you like the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy the channel, please subscribe. If you hit those notification bells, you're not going to miss any future videos. We look forward to seeing you on the water.